for doing the multi-sim simulation of a practical integrator so of your experiment tray uh, I'll draw here and show you how to do it so for the place you take first the open by C go to the component and in the component you be having analog and in analog you can see op-amp here take that here you can see 741 click on that say ok then you need resistors so go to the basic you need two resistors input resistor and one more resistor on the feedback part you need a capacitor on the feedback path and then uh, uh, you need source the source are uh, signal voltage source or okay source you don't need to take you can take a uh, function generator this is the ground okay I'm chasing the ground from here that's it now here plus is up so I just invert it uh, vertically so minus 2 terminal will go up just pull it a little bit down then I'll be arranging it pin number 2 is connected resistor RF is connected here the capacitor is connected um, and RF is connected to the output terminal pin number 6 capacitor is connected parallel to RF here I'll be giving my input so the plus terminal is being grounded so I'm just putting the ground over here that's fine now I need plus VCC and minus VE connection so go to the place component signal voltage power source I can take plus VCC I can connect to our pin number 7 and then minus VE I can connect to our pin number 4 and so I'll keep it that's it and then this one I just put flip vertically and I'll connect up and number this now I adjust the values so here I should give input input I'll giving through a function generator just check here function generator take it that's it and now output I will observe through a oscilloscope connect an oscilloscope it's one terminal connect to input and the other terminal to ground I'll take the ground there and second channel I connect to output underground here okay I think now only I need to adjust the values I'm taking V plus V minus V as minus 12 volt plus VCC as 12 volt done now I have this resistor as uh, I think that we have taken in the class as 15 kilo and the feedback resistor as uh, 150 kilo and the capacitor we have taken as 0 0.01 micro that's it 
now input voltage we are setting as a square wave first 1 kilohertz and 1 volt peak okay so that's it now if we are running this circuit we should get the output So as we are giving 1 volt, we will just take it to be 1, 2, I will take or even 1, no problem and uh, here I set I think 1 volt so that is fine, just run it, it becomes so close so I just adjust the time bit it around I hope that a 1 millisecond around I gave uh, reverse the screen that's it so this is your output I'll put it single then it will only one it will display now I'll just put the input little bit up and the output Y position output I'll just keep it little bit down so for convenience I'm making two wall per division so that see for the positive you are getting capacitors negative so the single in for an integrator if I am feeding an input of square wave I will get a triangular wave at the output now the as a second part you have to feed a sine wave so change it to uh, first second, change it to triangular wave and see as input and see what is the output run again so triangular wave I am giving I will get actually triangular function integration is a parabolic function so um, uh, positive and negative part of the triangle I will get a combined I will get a sine wave like so actually it is a parabolic function now change again I am feeding a sine wave integration of sine wave I should get a cosine wave 90 degree phase shift just see here so this one is sine I am feeding I will get cosine at the output see I am just uh, putting it to the same position I can you can see the feed uh, phase shift both will be 90 degree phase shift see the phase shift between the input and outputs are 90 degree so this is uh, when I am feeding a sign I will get a cosine wave now after this you have to do the AC analysis part AC analysis says take the circuit as such you don't want to do any changes go to simulate so AC analysis when you are doing you will get a response for various frequency your output voltage so output voltage will vary for different frequency when you are changing the frequency output will change so when you are going that analysis AC analysis in that first take the frequency X axis will be the frequency here just give how much frequency is the starting frequency 1 hertz until how much frequency you have to plot your graph say I am keeping around 100 kilohertz 100 kilo okay then sweep type sweep type is uh, decade so that means uh, we are plotting in the x axis around 1 to 100 kilohertz so that much you cannot put so you will be using a semi log that means uh, 1, 10, 100 like that each division you will be using now vertical scale no need of logarithmic keep it linear now check your output so what you want to observe at the output see output terminal is thus so I'll just mark before that terminal otherwise I will not see find which one I have to get out this one I need to get plot output voltage so double click on this and you can write here the out note name of your just I'll type it as V out if I want to see it on that line I should say show the net name say ok so it comes here now go to simulate
go to AC analysis, set the frequency parameter as 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz and then add to the output your V out. So, if you are saying that V out will be here, just add it, click add. So, V out will come, then click on the simulate. So, you will be getting like this. If you want to change it to black and white, black background to white background, click on this. So, this will be the uh, frequency versus the voltage V out. It is not the gain, it is only the voltage output. So, you will be getting like this and this corresponds to the phase. So, we are not interested in the phase, but this magnitude and phase comes along only. So, this one is you need to plot this SC analysis for integrator. When you want to do that, just uh, put it somewhere and uh, take the print screen and attach to your lab report. So, that is about the difference. So, now next is the differentiator. So, this I already plotted because the same manner only that this is the op arm, all other things you know how to uh, group it and how to put it in the, take it in the multi sim. So, just plotted it. This is the differentiator. Here also you need to do the same steps. You have to give first provide a square wave input of 1 volt peak. That means 2 volt peak to peak 1 kilohertz and then run it and see what is your output. So, when you are giving a square, I will just reverse the screen. When you are giving a square wave, I will make it 5 volt. Okay. So, this is the square input and uh, for that corresponding input pulse will be the differentiator. So, input is square, differentiation of square wave will be a pulse like this you will be getting at the output. As you are giving to the inverting terminal of differentiator you will get for the negative and positive pulse. For the positive half cycle of square wave you will get negative pulse like that. Now, if I am changing to a sign, differentiation of sine wave will be cosine. Just run and see this. So, differentiation of sine wave will be getting magnitude is different because of course, the frequency I am varying the amplitude of output will change. So, we are seeing it uh, no, mat, sorry not magnitude is same only. If I am putting both uh, this is input and this one is the output. See the out of phase 90 degree phase shift between input and output. So, input is sine, differentiation of sine wave will be cosine. So, now what you have to do is, it is like integrator how you have done, the same manner you have to do here the AC analysis. So, for doing AC analysis, you have to go to simulate, then go to the analysis, take AC analysis. So, here change the frequency parameter from 1 to around uh, 2 megahertz you as you have done in the lab it was 2 megahertz you have done. So, 1 to keep it in the megahertz and uh, let base sweep type decade vertical scale keep it in the linear itself and now output you need to plot the output see output if you are marking the node name it will come here so that you can directly put that output you need to plot versus frequency. So, for that I will just name it for naming the node double click on that and write here the name V out. If you want to see this name over here just show net name click ok. So, that is done. Now, go to simulate analysis. AC analysis frequency must be changed now. So, 1 to uh, 2 megahertz I am keeping as I told you. Then the scale I am going to keep linear vertical scale. Now, go to the output I will add C V out come here. Just I will add V out then I will be simulating. So, this will be the response for a differentiator. See it is from the lower values of voltage it is increased to maximum again it is coming reduced. So, this is the AC analysis for a differentiator. So, you need to plot that also in your fourth experiment differentiator. Okay.